Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. So this oracle, so what you do is you have downloaded it, right? You, where, from where you can download it. So give a search in your Google, okay? Oracle 11G free download for Windows 77 or 32 bit. Whatever the bit, if it is your Windows XP operating system, give that as Windows XP operating system and the corresponding bit of your operating system. Okay, so the very first thing that you get Oracle Database 11G Release 2 for Microsoft Windows. If it is a 64 bit, you'll get a 64 bit, else it is a 34, 32 bit. So click on that particular link, you'll be taken to this particular screen, all right, where you have to, where you have to click on. Uh, you have to accept the uh, license agreement. There will be a radio button over here. Just accept the license agreement. Then you find two zip files here. Just download. Just click on that. It will be downloaded. And if it is asking you to go for a single sign on, then it's a free uh, login and a password that you can create with an Oracle site. It's a free user, free logins. So you can even create your own login with a way once you once you created your login. With the help of those particular login details, you'll be able to download these two files. Once you download, you'll be getting the files in this way. All right. So what you have to do is just extract all these files. Okay. I'm just keeping a new folder here for my reference. I'm just keeping a new folder. I'm making a new folder under this. All right, so whatever the extract that I do, it will directly go into that particular folder. Okay. So it is extracting the files. Okay, it may take some time. 29 minutes, yeah. I'm worried about that now. Right. On extracting, you got this particular database. We have extracted the zip file wherein you got all these things. In the same way, we have another zip file here, which we have download it we have another zip file okay so even you have to extract this so i'm extracting it even i'll try to place that one in the same folder that i have created just now in order to keep the first folder right durga underscore oracle i'm going to keep the same things over there okay i'm extracting it okay Oh, we already have a database, so let me 
okay let me go with this oracle database okay let me extract it again i'll extract it here then i'll copy there okay i'm extracting here so it will it will complete in a less time so let's wait for it to complete okay it takes only 60 seconds for now so even my uh, this database has been extracted so what i'm going to do is so you can see that i have extracted here so from the extracted folder go to database go to stage components i mean go into the inner level and you find these three things like oracle.ctx oracle.rdmn rdms install cdb cdb and oracle sysman console.db so copy all these things okay into the first folder that you have extracted like we have extracted in the oracle database right so database right stage components now whatever the three files that you have copied from the second zip file paste it over here right so you can see that the copied things are pasted over here right see seed and highlighted ones see console.db and cdb as well as our what do you say ctx file now once this is done go back to your database okay i mean the place where you have extracted you have this particular set of file so click on this particular set of file okay yes okay it will take for the installer will take some time in order to start the process all right you will see that the installer is getting started right now you can give uh, or leave this particular thing as a blank one all right then click on next just sorry i'm resizing it sorry let me find all right right guys so just ignore this and click on next say yes okay now select this one the automatically by default it will be selected as a create one okay so keep it as it is do not select any other things just keep the selection as it is the initial selection would be on create and configure a database okay click on next say desktop class next okay now this is the place where your oracle starts installing this is the place where where your oracle starts installing okay now you can choose your corresponding folder where you want your oracle to be installed if you're okay with this then follow as it is okay if you're okay with the global address global database name you can keep it as orcl or if you wanted to change like anything of your name like i always keep in this way oracle instead of orcl i keep it as oracle all right and the password these are the password that you need to provide the default administrative passwords okay the password should be a combination of your characters and the digits and one character should be of a capital letter all right so your password administrative password and confirm your administrative password remember these passwords and i would suggest take a screenshot of this okay take a screenshot of this right use i'm using my snipper tool because this will be used at the time of your configuring of your database okay this will be used at the time of your configuring of your database so take a screenshot of it screenshot of it and place it somewhere else okay
okay now click on next all right the home location that you have specified contains space okay right here my location has containing some spaces okay ensure that because my system name was uh, durga satish k so it was uh, throwing an error as our home screen should not contain any spaces or uh, what do you say oracle home should not contain any spaces i just removed it okay now i'm clicking on next perfect now installation process starts okay it will check for the requirements whether we have our system is having corresponding requirements for us to like uh, at, in order to uh, install the database properly or not so once this is done click on finish this is your summary as what is uh, what is the corresponding thing that is going to be installed in your system just finish it off now all these process all these set of files or copying files or preparing files should be succeeded like see our database installation has been prepared succeeded i mean the status of this prepared is succeeded in the same way you have to have your copy files and set of files in a succeeded status and finally you'll be having this oracle database installation as a succeeded one so wait for them to to be shown as a succeeded one it would take a while for us to complete it would take generally a 15 to 20 minutes so just wait for that in between you'll get a such kind of a firewall blocking messages just say allow access Hello, access again. So almost everything is completed. Let's wait for few minutes in order the status for Oracle database configuration and Oracle database configuration assistant to be succeeded. So you'll see this kind of message. I mean. The database configuration assistant is copying the database files and creating and starting the Oracle instance. And once it is completing, I mean, once the, it reaches to 100%, then the installation of database completes. So it may take another 20 minutes or 30 minutes for us to complete this. The Oracle installation is completed. We get, uh, I mean, we receive this kind of message where we have to configure our passwords all right we'll configure the passwords now all right so once the once you see this particular screen go back to your password management or click on this password management do not click ok directly first click on your password management and you can see these all the accounts are locked here so what i recommend is unlock all these accounts with the username and the password that you desire so click on unlock i mean click on this unlock and then give the password of your choice so 3484 sorry the password i'm repeating my password please don't remember the password all right all right so close that then as your database installation is successful so what you can do is you can go back or you can go here all right and start programs oracle okay application development and you have your sql developer here so click on your sql developer yes now the one thing that this ask this will be asking only to locate the java file for the first time so browse click on browse okay go to the place where your what do you say uh, your oracle is installed durga oracle not this one so go to the sorry right app durga right ora data oracle also we have to find this now. TV home, right? 
locate the bin folder yeah jdk folder all right yeah inside jdk locate this java so this should be your location like the place where your db is installed all right app durga i mean durga is the folder wherein i have installed this particular thing so what you have to do you have to go under db and db home underscore one slash jdk underscore bin so you'll be having this particular path in common only thing is that the corresponding folder right product slash or whatever the version is db home one and jdk underscore bin so locate the java file you'll be having a java file over there so open and click on ok you can see that your sql developer starts opening up all right so this sql developer is a tool which is used to fire the query so if you see this kind of message then strictly say no or if you want to migrate any of your previous versions you can say yes so right now i don't want to have any migration done so i'm clicking on no all right so it's up to you if you want to have a migration done you can directly go with that else you can skip it off all right see you can directly say like check all this for our usage okay we'll see in the later things okay you can see you can you'll get the tips each and every time you open the database all right now what we have to do is we have to configure a connection i mean a database connection so i'm just click on this icon okay new icon okay say okay let me cancel this let me go this way new connection all right new connection give you any of your choice okay let me go with durga underscore test okay i'm going with scott as my i'm just configuring the scott database scott and the password that you gave in the password management screen you have given a password for security reasons i say you save your password okay and the important thing is the sid you have or i have given oracle right the name the database name that you have given so once you give all these fields only you have to give your connection name the username and the password that you have given under the password management screen and you give the corresponding database name that you have given at the time of installation then once you give all these things again click on test you should see the success as the message here so when you see success as the message click on save so once save click on cancel and you can connect to that particular database click on that right you have connected to this so let's execute a query select star from emp f9 you see i got the data so that means my database is properly configured well, thank you guys. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269 
a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.